Just do it. Alright, so I feel like Nike has the best slogan in the world. Three words, just do it. In fact, that's the ultimate inspiration and motivation behind a lot of athletes, a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of entertainers. So all right, I tell a lot of people that life will write you a check based on your value. So if you take the value of those three words, just do it, and look at all the millions and millions of people they inspire, it's not a secret why the founder, Phil Knight, is filthy rich. Those three words are transformative, meaning they're, they transform a lot of people's lives. So guess what? The universe wrote him a matching check. He's a multi-billionaire. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit of how he got started, and he didn't make any excuses. He just did it. So his slogan fits his lifestyle. So all right, first of all, he paid $35 for that logo. That same logo now is worth, I think they said, $90 billion a year or more. A lot of money. All right, so he paid $35 for his logo, paid, bought it from a college student. He flew to China, all right? He actually lied to a manufacturer, a shoe manufacturer, and said that he was this big business guy in the United States, and he had all these orders. He had celebrity endorsements before he really had celebrity endorsements, so he was still kind of like a struggling entrepreneur just getting started. Um, so what happened was, you know, he was able to finesse a deal by lying to the manufacturer that he had more clout than he did, and they actually fronted him like thousands of pairs of shoes. Basically, they um, they did the prototypes and and went straight to manufacturing. So right, he gets back to the United States and he hit the ground running. He really started looking for celebrities to endorse his product. Uh, I think he started with some local track stars. Uh, I think he might have got an Olympian or two. Then eventually, of course, he got Michael Jordan, which took it to the whole other level. And then a list of several, several other celebrities, but Michael Jordan himself made him rich. Uh, so his slogan, just do it, I tell my clients that. Like, don't aspire to do anything. Like, what is it aspiring when you can just do it? So don't be an aspiring writer, just start writing. All right, don't be an aspiring speaker, just start speaking. So drop the aspiring part and just do it. So whatever it is you want to do, just do it. All right, my story, I'll just give you a few examples of how I just did it. For instance, I'm not a cook. Can't cook, never was known to be a cook. My older sister cooked, my younger brother cooked. I never cooked, like growing up. But at 21, I became the youngest restaurant owner, I'm pretty sure, probably in the in America, but definitely in South Carolina or the Southeast. I was 21, had a restaurant in West Columbia on State Street. It was a little deli. Uh, like I said, I don't cook, but I'm an optimist. I'm very ambitious and I just do it. So with no passion, no skills, no expertise in cooking, I end up with my first restaurant at 21. Uh, it's actually said that we put out the local checkers, put them out of business. So we were delivering within a 30 mile radius before Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, all that. Uh, I was delivering, uh, we was delivering to college students. We stayed open as late as 3 a.m. Uh, I can remember long nights in the restaurant. Um, we made pretty good money. Uh, we actually won the golden, uh, two way top for the golden spatula with the 97 D head rating our first year and then fast forward four years after at 25 I had my second restaurant in Greenwood South Carolina that was called Tease Wings it was inside of an entertainment hub uh, still couldn't cook still wasn't passionate about cooking but you know built a pretty successful business uh, so I live and die by the phrase just do it uh, I'll give you another example so I bought my first tire shop off Craigslist in 2015 up until my stepdad died, he changed my tires. So I was not known as the automotive guy. Never, you know, not that I couldn't change tires, but my stepdad, great guy, he just changed my tires, you know, throughout college all the way till he died. So if he was alive and he knew that I was about to buy a tire shop, he would probably be like, yeah, this is a joke. Because I was not, like I said, he did my brake work, my oil changes, changed my tires. But being an optimist, I just did it. So I live and die by Nike's uh, 
famous transformative slogan, just do it. So I'm telling you, the listener, if you got an idea, don't ponder on it too long, just do it. I'll go as far as saying action even trumps your plan. Because a lot of people will set plans and never do it. So action is the activator. It is the ultimate goal. Take action, all right? So if you need any help, any uh, business coaching, any individual services, please visit my website, businesscoachstem.com, or you can contact me directly via text. Just text bizcoach to 803-261-5948. Just do it.